ants defend their colonies against intruders with great ferocity. And yet, here in this meadow in Central Europe, there are ants' nests where intruders live undetected. And there's one right here. This is the caterpillar of the blue butterfly. And it's lived in this nest, undetected and protected by the ants and fed by them for the last two years. Indeed, it's been so thoroughly accepted by the ants that they will try and rescue it in preference to the young of their own queen, as in fact they're doing right now. But how do these caterpillars get into the ants' nest in the first place? Alcon blue butterflies begin their courtship in June and July. They're surely one of the loveliest sights of a European summer as they flutter and flirt among the flowers of the meadow. Male and female meet and join. Once they have mated, the female Alcon Blue must find a gentian plant. Here she lays her eggs. The caterpillars, when they hatch, stay feeding on the gentian for a couple of weeks. But eventually, they fall to the ground. There are ants everywhere in a meadow like this, and they soon find it. It smells just like one of their own larvae, and they start to haul it back to where one of their larvae should be, in their nest. Other foragers from the same nest have found another. During the next few weeks, as many as half a dozen may be taken back to the nest. Here, they're hauled down to the nursery chambers and put with the ants other eggs and larvae. And because the caterpillars continue to produce a pheromone exactly like that produced by the young ants themselves, they are treated as if they were young ants, even though they are bigger and a different colour. The caterpillars even mimic the sound the ants make when they bake for food, so the workers dutifully feed and clean them. 